Hey parents, before we start this episode, remember that your family can enjoy hundreds of fun and educational free videos like this one for kids of all ages. Be sure to subscribe to get all the new shows and updates at PragerUKids.com. Lost track of time. <laughs> Welcome to Otto's Tales. Uh, story time brought to you by Prager U Kids. I'm Jill, and today, well, I'm reading a wonderful story that might be new for many of you. Otto, <laughs> did you wake me up? Thank you. I didn't realize I fell asleep. <laughs> Today's story is one that reminds us of the power of doing good. Let's read Legend of the Dipper. Once upon a time, there was a happy little girl who lived with her mother in a quaint cottage in the woods. It was a lovely place to live, but there had been no rain for a very long time. The grass was brown, the flowers were withered, and there wasn't any more water in the well to drink. The little girl loved her mother very much and was beginning to worry because her mother had recently fallen very ill and weak. If I could only find some clear cold water for my mother to drink, I know she would heal, the little girl thought. The little girl was determined to do something to help. She took a small tin cup, also known as a dipper, from the cupboard and set out in search of water. Alone, the little girl grasped her tin dipper and walked a long way through the dry woods into the sunset. Exhausted, she trudged deep into the mountains in search of a freshwater spring. There it is! She leapt with glee when she heard the faint gurgling of bubbles bouncing between rocks ahead. Clear cold water! The little girl kneeled down next to the tiny little spring, now almost dry and held her tiny dipper carefully to catch the drops. Plink, plink, plink. She waited and waited a long, long time until the cup was full of water. She then started down the mountain, carefully gripping her dipper to not spill a single drop. On her way back home, a small dog was resting under a brittle brush panting for breath and parched for water, with his tongue hanging out from his mouth. You poor little creature! The little girl's big heart melted for the animal. The little girl poured some of the water from her dipper into her hand, and the small dog lapped it up quickly. He was refreshed and barked and bounced around her as if to say, thank you, little girl. The little girl was pleased and continued on her way home. What she didn't notice was that, after she gave the small dog water, her tin dipper transformed into a silver dipper and was just as full of water as it was before. The sky was darkening now and the little girl hurried on the path toward home. But before she got to her door, she passed a feeble old man resting on the side of the trail, covered in dust. I am so thirsty, he said to the little girl as she approached. Might you have any extra water to give me a drink to help me? The little girl worried about giving the old man the rest of her water for fear that she wouldn't have any left for her mother. However, her big heart swelled again. I'm taking this water to my mother who is ill, but I'm happy to share a bit with you too. The old man took a sip from the dipper and was grateful. Thank you, he smiled with kind eyes. The little girl smiled back and didn't notice that, right then, her dipper turned from silver to gold. By the time the little girl arrived at home, the sky was black. She had ventured further than she ever had before and felt weak from her travels. She longed to take a sip of the water, but didn't 
because she knew her mother would need all that was left. Dear, is that you? The girl's mother called. When the frail mother drank from the dipper, she became well and strong once more. And then came the greatest wonder of all. The dipper turned from gold to diamonds and shone brightly with sparkling gems. The little girl's eyes widened and her mother gasped as they watched the diamond dipper rise into the night sky to glimmer over their cottage and all the woods. And from there, the dipper continues to shine every night to remind all little children how once a child was brave and unselfish and kind. The end. This story is a fun pretend tale about the Big Dipper pattern of stars in the sky. Have you ever seen it at night? Look for it, it is amazing. My favorite thing about this story though is that it reminds us how being unselfish and doing good will always bring more good things our way. Every time the little girl shared the water with someone who needed it, her dipper became more precious. First it was tin, then silver, then gold, and then diamond. And that's what happens when we share our time and talents to help others. Everyone's lives become better. Otto, is this for me? I was getting really thirsty during reading this. Uh, is this diamond water? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing. Thank you for watching Otto's Tales. Check out some of our other stories too. Keep reading, keep watching, and remember that doing good deeds will always lead to good things. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. You know we've got more episodes, right? Watch the whole series on our website. And parents, you can subscribe at PragerUKids.com.